Alright. Alright, so destroying the belief in Santa Claus is stupid. We ranted about it. What do you think? Is it time for our Christmas special? Because you want to know something? The reason that it sucks for all these people to be telling kids that Santa Claus doesn't exist? Because Joe and I met him. We, yeah. actually, we actually met him. We met Santa Claus. You wanna, I brought Scott to you, teach him the video. Do you guys want to hear about it? Chet was with us. He was videotaping the whole thing. Yep. The only th- the only good thing Chet does is he's good with a video camera. He's good. He's damn good. I went to Joe, but nobody saw. And when I <laughs> and when I say video camera, I mean like holding an audio recorder. Cause yeah, because this is a radio show. He, he was, he's honest. really good at holding that button and making sure there's no static. You're not seeing anything right now. At least I don't think there's static. Although, when I do do my TV show, which I'll tell you about right after this uh, special in our commercial break, we're going to probably just go right into the commercial break. Or should we come back from the special? Let's come back. All right, we're going to come back. We're all come back. Let's dive into this special. Yes. Jay, we got a special ready? All right, we'll see you guys in three minutes. That's it? I think it's like three or four. All right, let's go. All right, see you later. The holly is strong. Well, this looks great, Scott. The lights are all shining. The holly is strong. And look. You even put up some mistletoe, you dog. Joe, I didn't do that. Why would I? I thought mistletoe was that bulge Frank gets in his pants every time he plays Halo. Gross. Anyway, don't you know it's Christmas? Well, I heard that Christmas is when you treat people nicely because you otherwise wouldn't. Christmas is basically a holiday for fakes and liars. Scott, you're wrong. Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year, and I'm going to show you. Come on. Joe, where are we going? The North Pole, idiot. What's the sled for? Well, I bought it with the money left over from Henry's mom and figured I should use it now. Can't wait. Hey, so it's pretty cold up here. Maybe this dude with the beard can help us out. Wait, is that who I think it is? It can't be. Frank's dad! No, it's Santa Claus! He's going to thought me to have his own beard. What a badass. If anyone can teach you the meaning of Christmas, is this guy. He works all year to build toys with his elves for kids around the world. He doesn't need to get paid, and only ask that people remember him as they bring cheer to others without caring about how rich or poor they are. Don't you think he looks a little bit like Frank's dad, though? Yeah, he does. Mr. Santa Claus? Ho ho ho! What have we here? Hello, Mr. Claus. I'm Joe, and this is Scott. We have a radio show in New York called Happy Times. I'm here to teach Scott about Christmas. I loved your radio show. You know, that scorched Chesterfield has given me quite a few ideas how to spice things up with Mrs. Claus. Oh ho 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 ho! Yes! Stop. So, Mr. Claus, what are you doing here? Well, everything was going great, but I hate to say that Mrs. Claus is moving out. I came here to think on some way to try to convince her to stay. If Mrs. Claus goes, there won't be any eye candy for the elves. And no eye candy means... Cabin fever? No, worse. No Christmas. I've got a plan, Santa. Put some clothes on, you're gross. Scott, let's call Scroats. So you want to give her the North Pole Numcha? Of course, from that spring break down in Tijuana. I knew you'd remember. Can't wait to see this, Joe. You better start stretching, because if this doesn't work, you're going down those chimneys yourself. Boys, she loved it. She agreed to stay. Ho, 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 ho. You don't think you could have put some clothes on before you were telling us? To repay you, I'll give you a free ride back to Marist in my sled. Perfect. This dog sled was killing my posture. Hey, Scott. Yeah? Did you learn the meaning of Christmas today? Sex solves everything? Close enough. Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas, Joe. <laughs> All right, we. I Chet added some sound effects in there. They weren't yeah, really. That was, they weren't really that was well good. implemented. I don't know about that. Chet, you're gonna have to work on that over the break. Oh my god! I like how we just had like a random beginning to a song that just, ends the whole thing. I just <laughs> like whose idea was that? I just lost it in the in the booth. This is in nice. The booth? There's there's no, no no like distractions. This is big windows so a little distracting, but like you know what. This big no, this big window's nice because if someone ever comes by, we always have the hope we, maybe we they'll come in. Try to like we did wave some guys. We got in. some guys yeah. in that one time, and uh, he was gonna listen to us for midterms, but he didn't. Yeah. Don't even look at that post. Can we put it backwards? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's put it backwards. Don't tell anybody if you're listening that we just put this poster backwards. 
Done. Done and done. No one's ever going to look at Good that Good luck again. looking at the wall. Give me a pen. Yep. I'm going to write. <laughs> yeah, happy times is <laughs> <it's> gone, <laughs> gone, Jeff. <laughs> All right, well, you know uh, what, guys? While we're busy causing trouble in the studio, you listen to some of our sponsors. We're going to come right back. We got this or that, uh, a new segment, newer. We're going to do actors who played Santa Claus or winners of The Biggest Loser. I wrote the list up. Joe's going to guess. I've got an 80 two times. You got like a 40 and a 70. You know what? I don't want to hear it. This is the one that you got to step up on. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I happen to be a very avid watcher of The Biggest Loser, so... And then we got the 10 things that I don't want to get for Christmas. Speaks for itself. Ready for some commercials? Let's do it. What do you think? We got some, uh... Here we go. Jet, let's go. <laughs> 